Hello, I'm Erin Brindley. I am the co-artistic director and chef at Nordo. Welcome back to my kitchen where we are until we can all go back to work. I am coming at you to show you some more behind the scenes menu development for our show that we're going to open just as soon as we can, Curiouser and Curiouser. It's our Alice in Wonderland adaptation. If you don't know Nordo, what we do is we do immersive theater with imaginative cuisine and live original music. One of my jobs is to create crazy menus for these shows and Alice in Wonderland could be the most challenging yet, uh, but I think that we're on to something. So I'm working on pepper tarts today. Um, there's a scene where the Queen of Hearts interrogates people about who stole the tarts, and so she says, um, what's in tarts? And they say, pepper mostly? So I'm creating a pepper tart, and I'm trying to make it in the shape of a red rose, obviously, for the garden idea. So that's what I'm kind of trying to futz with here. Before I get to that, I have some people to thank people who are donating to CafeNordo.com to make sure that when the gates are lifted and we are all able to go back to our regular scheduled programming, Curiouser and Curiouser can open in Pioneer Square in Seattle. Those people today are just a few of the people who've donated, and that is Gregory Cooper, um, David Klotz, who donated in honor of Edward Laverne Dickman, thank you so much. Um, Jill Jago, thank you. Sarah Kay, in honor of Charles Ludwig Dodgson, yay, thank you. Um, Jeff DeVoe, who's been a supporter forever, thank you, Jeff. Uh, the Binners, Howard and Sarah, thank you. And Voodoo Sears, thank you so much. Um, okay, so what I'm doing today is I'm trying to make a rose. So lots of people make uh, roses out of apples in puff pastry. Um, the apples kind of do this beautiful pink thing and you can turn them into petals really easily, but um, I want peppers. So I'm trying to figure that out. This is a new idea I have um, based on some techniques I saw some other chefs using to create uh, sweet rose shaped things. So we're doing a savory version of that. So that's four little circles and then this can just go away for now. So I've got an egg wash, that's just a one egg with some water, that'll help these things stick as well as make them shiny. This one's interactive, you guys. If you wanna take a sheet of puff pastry and start futzing around with my like primary ingredients that I've already kinda of settled on, which are Mama Lil's Peppers, that's the spicy, sweet, yummy, local pepper company, feta cheese, and just a regular plain roasted pepper, that I roasted, please mess around with it. Making pastry shapes is not necessarily my forte. Um, and this is a new idea I have here and I'm gonna see whether it works better with a muffin tin or a sheet pan. So um, I've got a couple Mama Lil's here. Those are the spices. And some little uh, roasted red pepper that I roasted. See, I'm actually gonna do them like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do another, like, oop. And then some yummy feta cheese. Give a nice little salt bomb. So now I'm just gonna try and roll this thing up without losing all my guts. Stay in there, guts. Ooh. Ooh. This is, is it starting to look like a rose on your side? It's starting to look like a rose on my side. Oh. Uh-oh, that one's gonna be messy. Oh yeah, look. Look at that. And if I, maybe if I peel these, woo, peel the petals down. You. Sweet. Oh, that's really good. I like it. Maybe I'll do a little egg wash around the outside. Make sure it's nice and shiny and pretty on there. And I'm going to try, like I say, I'm going to try one of these in a muffin tin. So it can kind of keep its shape. And I'm going to see what happens with one of them out. Uh oh. Pepper on the loose there. This stuff's pretty forgiving as long as you don't get it all melty before you get it in the oven. And we're gonna put it in the oven um, at like 400 for 
25 minutes or so and see how we do. This I'm gonna put back in the freezer. Don't forget to put the egg wash on the outside. So I will see you guys in 25 minutes or so and we'll see if these things look anything like roses. Well, they're out of the oven. And I'm not gonna call this a great success. I'm sure it tastes delicious. Um, that doesn't look like a rose anymore. And let's see how this guy did. Um, as I mentioned, I am, well, that's a little overcooked. That's a little more like a rose, but I'm still not blown away. The nice thing about that one, despite being a little overcooked on the outside, is it seems like it's done on the inside, which is hard because these peppers are so moist. Anyway, we're going to go back to the drawing board on the shape of that. There's something to that curvy that I think we're going to explore some more. But like I say, if you want to try this at home, the suggestion box is not always open here and it is absolutely wide open. So try it yourself. Play around with the shapes, let us know what you came up with, and maybe I'll put your version of the pepper tarts on the menu. Just don't just tell me what to do though. You have to try it yourself and see if it works, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, this was so fun. You made it! Thank you so much for watching. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Nordo. We are a nonprofit arts organization based in Seattle, Washington, dedicated to bringing you an intimate theatrical experience that weaves in imaginative cuisine and live original music. If you're watching during the COVID-19 crisis and you wanna make sure our doors are open when all this is over so you can come and experience one of our incredible events, please consider donating. You can find more information and a link to donate at cafenordo.com. Stay in, stay well, and stay inspired. Thank you.